I want to get you some additional information on asynchronous and synchronous transmission. I don't think I covered that in detail in the lectures. Uh, you must be able to relate asynchronous transmission to what type of transmission. In the early days, uh, we basically said it refers to a character by character transmission as well. And you must know what a trans, uh, synchronous transmission is, uh, where is it used, uh, is it uh, associated often with what kind of transmission, high or low speed transmission. Would it be easier or more difficult to implement synchronous transmission? Now if you look at a character by character transmission, what is the frame, character frame consists of? Uh, we have a couple of things there. Number one, it consists of a start bit and a stop bit as well. Now the other section which I did not cover in any great detail is the, uh, is the serial and parallel communication standard. Uh, I want you to take a look at that, especially in terms of the legacy RS-232C standard that was used in the past. What is the speed of that RS-232C standard? Uh, nowadays you have USB 2.0, uh, USB uh, 1.0 was the previous one, so I want you to take a look at that. Uh, what does the serial interface in a computer do? What does it do? It converts parallel signals into serial signals and vice versa. You must also take a close look at the different types of serial connectors such as DB9, DB25 and so on. So. Then what are the resources that are associated with both serial and parallel ports? Uh, one example in this case would be the I.O. address, another one would be the IRQ, IRQ is the interrupt. Uh, nowadays you don't have to worry about it. Why is that so? Because uh, the IRQ and everything is nowadays um, set by the computer. Now you also need to be able to look at the speeds of different things such as uh, uh, Firewire, uh, Fiber Channel, and RS-232C. Alright, so uh, you could say that both Firewire and Fiber Channel in general are faster than the USB communication speed. Now, what are some of the advantages of USB and what is the difference between a port technology and a bus technology? A port technology means you basically can connect only one device. If you talk about a bus technology, you can connect multiple devices on a bus. Uh, for this reason, you need to consider both the USB as well as the firewire as bus technologies. Finally, I also want you to take a quick look at parallel communication. And in this case, I want you to uh, look at the uh, organization that sets the standard for the old parallel uh, standard. In other words, the IEEE 488 standard is an old one. Uh, said by the Committee for Parallel Transmission Standards. Now there are different types of transmission standards. One is known as uh, SPP, Standard Parallel Port. The other one is known as Enhanced Parallel Port. And the last one is known as Extended Capability Port. And I want you to uh, basically know the difference between these three types of port. Uh, these are the three sections I believe I did not cover in detail. Number one is about asynchronous synchronous transmission. Number two is about serial transmission. And number three is about parallel transmission. So these are the three additional sections that you have in your exam. Every other section, I think, was covered in great detail in the class. I wish you well and hope to see you this Thursday.